the bridge here. Nearly 12 million vehicles cross the key bridge every year. I personally have crossed this bridge many times living in this area. It's the outermost of the three toll crossings of Baltimore's Harbor, so it's very busy. Now from this map, you can also see for ships, it's really the only way into the port of Baltimore. It's also home to cruise ships from both Carnival and Royal Caribbean. Our Janelle Ford, who worked in Austin and has covered the port system across the country for a number of years, joins us now with some analysis on that. Yeah, well, Cleo, right now everything is kind of in flux. Mm -hmm. So in a press conference earlier, um, one of the reporters, they actually asked, they're like, they asked the Baltimore officials about the timeline for the port to reopen. They said they didn't have one and their exclusive focus right now is on saving lives, but no doubt this will have big implications that will stretch well beyond Maryland and potentially here to Texas. Now, the first, obviously, is that this will have big economic impacts on the supply chain. Several prominent companies, including Amazon and FedEx, have distribution warehouses and facilities near the bridge. Millions of tons of cargo worth billions of dollars flow through the port of Baltimore each year. And the, part, the port is also the biggest handler of cars and light trucks in and out of the U.S. So the bottleneck that will come from this is going to force a shift of goods through other ports. The crucial question is, what other ports have the capacity to handle those vessels? Mm -hmm. And then once on land, what ports feed into infrastructure? So trains, airports, and highways that are capable of getting those goods to where they need to go. Now, Texas has 19 seaports. The Port of Houston is the busiest in the country for international trade. It could be asked to help out, but there are also several ports along the eastern seaboard that are much closer detours. Now, another thing to also consider here is cruise ships that flow in and out of that port that may temporarily have to reroute to Norfolk, Virginia or to New York City. And then finally, the actual bridge is a major thoroughfare that connects mm -hmm. DC, Baltimore, Philly and New York. So it's gonna create major delays as folks head out for Easter and really beyond that until it's fixed. So there's a lot in play here, Cleo. So it really can have a ripple, uh, ripple effect across the country here. And like we were discussing, if this were to happen during rush hour this morning around five o'clock, things could have been much worse. Absolutely. So good thing that it happened overnight, but still a very sad situation. It really is. Janelle, thank you so much for your coverage. All right, we're turning, round, I'm turning now to a breaking news story where updates are expected throughout the day.